love having you guys back. Beautiful. All right, let's give you a nice class, everybody. Feet together side by side. Looking forward at yourself in the front mirror, and I love that you've staggered. Just pay attention maybe and see that your neighbors behind you can see themselves good. Pranayama deep breathing is first, so let's start with that. Interlace your fingers neatly underneath your chin. Thumbs against your throat, spine nice and tall, and you can watch a few if you'd like as well. And begin. Inhale, head down, arms up, breathing in nice and deep through the nose. Stretch up really tall here as you look forward, and then hold it for a moment. Exhale it all out. Opening up the mouth nice and wide. Keep the chest up, spine tall, eyes open, head back, and the elbows come together at the end. Beautiful. Start again. Inhale, head down. Going slow as we start. Looking forward, concentrating, stretching up tall, stomach in, hold, and exhale. Head up and head back. Keeping the chest up, using your throat, feel your stomach in, palms together, Make that big fist as the elbows touch at the end. Start again. Inhale, head down, and go for more. Every inhale, try your best to pull in more and more and more air. Beautiful. Exhale it all out. Go nice and slow. Slowly exhaling, emptying the lungs maybe a little bit more, helping you to inhale more this time. Inhale, head goes down as the arms stretch up. Good, you guys. Synchronize the movement. Been coming for a while. You've got to challenge yourself. Head down, arms up, and then exhale. Head goes back as the arms stretch forward. Good. Spine tall, chest up, legs strong, hips forward, elbows together at the end. Beautiful. Start again. Inhale for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Start again. Inhale. Head goes down. Look forward and concentrate more. Good, Tasha. Keep breathing. Keep stretching. Come up out of the waist. Nice mark. Exhale, everybody. Head up and head back. Mouth open wide. Using your throat. Exhaling all the air out. Emptying the lungs completely to do it again. Inhale. Close your mouth and pull in the air using the throat. Pull it in through the nose. Stretch up nice and tall. Good, Changu. Exhale, everybody. Head up and head back. Nice. Feel that length even as you exhale. Spine nice and tall as the elbows come together at the end. Two more. Inhale. Head down and go bigger. Nice, Catherine. Good, uh, Nicole. Stretching up nice and tall. Beautiful, everybody. Hold it and exhale. Head up and head back. Warming up the body from the inside out. Exhalation, a big deal, everybody. Use intercostal strength. Push more air out to inhale more this time. Inhale. Head goes down and then go for a little bit more. Biggest one here. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale. Exhale. Nice. Warm up your body and warm up your mind. Everything coming together as one. Bring your arms down by your side. Look forward at yourself in the front mirror. Beautiful. Sit, Karina. Join us. And we do it a second time. Interlace your fingers neatly underneath the chin. Thumbs against the throat. So even your chin plays a role with your spine, right? You don't want your chin here, maybe your chin here, right? So noticing that you have that cervical part of your spine, the neck, right? You want that to stay nice and long, right? You want to do that now so that you'll pay attention to it in other postures. Let's start now. Inhale, head down, arms up. So keep the chin level, right? Don't let it push down too much. Stretch up tall up out of the waist and then exhale. And now the knuckles stay against the chin. So now we are working the cervical spine. Just the head goes back, getting into those seven joints as the elbows come together. Inhale, head down, and go for chin parallel. So feel the lift up out of the waist, so now the neck is nice and tall. Very good. Exhale, everybody head up and head back, following through on great technique. And then so much happens, everybody, when you have that good skill going. Start again. Inhale, head down, and go for more. Your prana, your life force extending throughout your entire body. No obstruction. Hold it here and then exhale. Love your lower body, everybody. Looks really good. Legs are strong. It looks absolutely still to me, but I know that you're activating those muscles. Start again. Inhale, head down and rise up from there. So if you still feel the weight into the heels and stretch up from there all the way through the crown of the head. Exhale and let it all go with good form. Chest is up, the head goes back, palms come together and elbows there stretching forward too towards the front mirror. Do it all again. Inhale, head down, keep going, keep breathing, keep stretching, right? The stretch is your exercise. Nice, everybody. And then exhale. I like to see one straight line from the side. Really good, everybody. Keeping the chest up, stomach in, hips tighten forward, elbows come together. A few more. Inhale, 
head down, keep going, keep breathing, and sit in the back row, stretch up, everybody stretch up, good Krishna, stretch up, stretch up, good Matt, exhale everybody, head up and head back, nice Josh, keeping the eyes open, trying to see the wall behind you as the head goes back a little bit more, and then start again, inhale, keep your shoulders down, stretch your elbows up, feel the spine getting nice and long, keep the chin level, hold it here, and then exhale, so you're wrapping your shoulder blades forward, so keep your shoulders down, and stretch those elbows, scapula forward towards the front mirror. Two more. Inhale. Head down and go big. Get everything out of the way so that you can open up the chest, fill the lungs more, and then exhale and start to close. Yeah. So the rib cage starts to close. Intercostal strength helping to close those doors, pushing all the air out. One more. Inhale. Head down and go for it. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and hold it and exhale. Really good. You guys have that suppleness even as you do your breathing. Nothing really strict. That's really great. Good job. Nice, everybody. You did great now, yeah. You're going to remember it all now, yep. Breathing in through the nose is out through the nose is how we do the class, everybody. So as we do our postures and out of the postures, breathing slow and calm in and out through the nose. And we start feet together, arms up over your head, palms together, interlace your fingers and release the index fingers and cross your thumbs. You can get a drink there, Karina, no problem. Okay, it's okay if you need it. Everybody, chin up, go ahead, take a nice deep breath and stretch your spine right and left, left and right. Moving your hips in the opposite direction, getting a nice stretch along both sides of the body, creating some length. So in other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. So we're long, coming up, out, and over. And where's your chin? Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. Good. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and stop in the middle and build our posture. Make sure that your feet are together. So my two friends in the back there, yeah, bring your feet together so they're touching side by side. So you have your ankle bones and your big toes touching. So my friend here with the gray top, can you interlace your fingers and really, there, there's the fisted grip. So hands and palms glued together. Everybody hips forward, lean the upper body back, open your chest, arms with your ears, and how about the chin up one more time? Good. Inhale. Stretch up. Go touch the ceiling. Hold the breathing now. Bend your body to the right side of the room in one straight line. No bend in the elbows, no bend in the knees, and keep that chin up, everyone, and continuously push. So the more dominant thing that you're feeling is the push towards the left side of the room beyond your flexibility. Help you to lengthen the left side of your body. Inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to the toes. So good form. So stay up out of the waist. Lock your elbows. Keep the grip tight. Feel your legs nice and strong. Everybody's stomach in. Pushing your hips continuously as you stretch your arms to the right side of the room. Keep your hips forward. Lean the upper body back. Remember the chin is up. Everybody leaning the upper body back and opening up the chest. Maximum weight in the heels. Good and strong. Stay with your breathing, everybody. Push your left hip more forward. Now your right shoulder more forward as your chin stays up. Lock your elbows. Keep the grip strong. Take a deep breath. Last few. Stretch your arms. Use your hips. And push, push, push. Inhale, breathing. Come on up. Let's stop in the center. Build the other side. Lock your legs. Lock your elbows. Grip tight. Hands and palms glued together. Alley. Chin is up. Nice deep breath, everyone. Stretch up. Go touch the ceiling. Hold the breathing. Bend your body to the left side of the room. Set Shangu coming up out of the waist and then stretching your body to the left. And here you are pushing your hips to the right side of the room. As you push, that body will come down too, but keep the length, everybody. No collapsing along the left side. Nice, Jennifer. Arms with your ears. Good, Matt. Grip nice and tight. Keep your legs strong, everybody. No bend on that left leg. Push your hips forward, leaning the upper body back. Maximum weight in the heels. Good. Stay with it. Lock your elbows more, Karina. Everyone, one long line. Feel that half moon shape along the right side of the body. Stretching inside out, bones to skin. This time, everybody, right hip more forward. Good, Kim, left shoulder more forward. So move the chin up and the left shoulder forward. Inhale, breathing, grip tight. Everybody come down. Use your hips and push, push, push. Inhale, breathing, come on up. Beautiful. Still half moon, backward bend. Nice deep breath, everyone. Full lungs. Drop your head back all the way. Try to see the floor behind you. Yeah, Catherine, drop your head. Open your throat. Let your neck relax. Good, and then go with the arms. Immediately, arms go back. Try and touch that wall behind you, bending your spine backwards, lower, middle, and upper. So stay with the head. Relax, everybody, and start to push the upper body back. Using those arms, alley. that's the way, everybody, pushing the upper body back. Feels like you're falling down backwards, keeping the weight in the heels. Good, Kathy. Let it all register, everybody, as you push even more. Those arms towards the back wall. Inhale, breathing. Push stomach, hips, thighs forward, more towards the front mirror. That's it, Changu, keeping the weight in the heels, and allow yourself, Tasha, 
lock the elbows to fall back more. That sits you in, lean back, way back, go back, more back. Nice. Inhale, breathing, come on up. Yeah, and stretch up if you'd like, stomach in, and let's make our way down, nice and slow. Traveling, that U-turn back bend to a forward bend, coming all the way down. Good, you guys look really kind of um, loose and supple today, which is really nice to have in the morning. We don't often have that early morning classes. You have that more in the afternoon. So work with that, everybody. Hands on the floor. Bend one knee, straighten one. Squat a couple of times. Get things to be a little bit more loose, supple, and relaxed. Yeah. So we do a forward bend. Krishna, being careful. A lot of you with lower back issues. So doing this pre-stretch for everybody to keep us nice and cautious and aware as we build it here. Feet together, bend your knees a lot. Hands, palms go behind and underneath those heels. Baby fingers are touching side by side. So bend your knees a lot and really feel the grip the right way using that nice tight Bikram grip. Baby fingers touch. <clears throat> you have your heels in the palms of your hands. Don't lose the grip. Elbows behind your calf muscles. And then from there, go ahead and pull. Hips up, stretch your upper body down towards the floor from the lower spine. Good. So keep the form. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs beneath the knees. No room for lighter air. Yeah. Now tip the weight into the toes, out of the heels, and pull hard, pushing your knees back. Pulling the object of stretching. Very good in the back row. Pull, pushing your knees back, trying to lock the knees, creating the stretching sensation underneath your legs. Slight pain sensation, perhaps. Coccyx to heels inside out, bones to skin with your happy, smiling face. Good. A lot of you, the weight's in the heels. Bring the weight more forward and pull. Bring the weight forward, pull, push your knees back and lock the knees. Eyes open, touch your face. Weight forward again, pull, lock the knees, lock the knees, lock the knees. Come up. There it is, Joanne. Arms and head together. Come all the way back up. <clears throat> and then relax, exhaling your arms down by your side. Nice first set, everybody. And be still. Good, Terry. Everybody breathing in and out through the nose. As you stand tall, <clears throat> keep that chin nice and elevated. And let's do it all again. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head, palms together. Interlace your fingers and release the index fingers. Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Stretch up tall, tall, hips are forward, leaning the upper body back, and here we go, everybody. Nice deep breath. Stretch up and go. You have the technique. Go after it in the second set. Come down and push. Come down and push. Keep going. Tasha, you got to use your hips more. Come down and push. Yeah, beautiful, everyone. Hips forward as you do it. The corrections as you come down. Leaning upper body back as you come down. Weight in the heels as you come down. Pushing your hips continuously towards the window. Stretch your arms. Keep the grip nice and tight. Use your strength. Gain that flexibility along the left side. Stay with the hips forward, everybody. Right shoulder more fortune is up. Come down, everyone. Keep the grip strong. Stretch your arms. Come down and push, push, push. Inhale, breathing. Come on up, other side. Same thing. Okay, everybody, I want you to stretch up out of your waist. Okay, right now. Stretch up tall. Hold the breathing then. Yeah. Bend your body to the left. Come up, out, and over. Imagine there's a hot beach ball along the left side. You got to come up, out, and over. Yeah, Tasha, not collapsing along the left side. Nice and long along the right side as you push your hips continuously towards the right side of the room. Good. One straight line, Sarah. Hips are forward, leaning the upper body back. Back, more of the weight in the heels. Good, everybody. Stay with good technique as you come down, Kim. Even more. Everybody, right hip forward. Lock your legs, Todd. Left shoulder more forward. Good, Josh. Chin up a little bit more. Grip tight. Come down, everyone. Use your hips and push, push, push. Inhale, breathing, and come on up. Good. Here we go. I'm excited. Nice deep breath, everybody. And drop your head back. Want to see the second backward bend? That first one was pretty extraordinary. So drop your head. Go all the way. Everybody with a head back, head back, head back. Go. The arms giving you time. Arms back, arms back. Nice, Changu. Yeah. Now try to bring your arms even more toward your ears and work that upper back really nice. That's the hard part. Very good. And keep your chest up. Nice there, Josh. Good. Beautiful, everyone. Leaning into it. Can you bring your arms back even more towards the back wall, noticing the weight in the heels? Inhale, breathing now. Go after it even more as you push your hips, stomach, thighs even more forward. Very good, Chango. Keep your hips coming forward and then bring those arms back more. Yeah, Josh. Locking those elbows. Letting the fist get nice and heavy, everybody, as you fall back. Last few. Fall back more. Lean back. Go back. Way back. Oh my gosh. Very good. Come on up, everybody. Nice deep breath. And then and come down. Pretty soon you guys are going to be able to watch TV in those back bends like that. Come all the way down. All the way down. It's the most potent way to heal your spine, your backward bending. Way to go, everybody. Hands on the floor. Bend one knee, straighten one, squat a couple of times. However, we do a lot more forward bends. And ironically, that's the, the forward bends is where we need to be more cautious so training our minds, right, as we make this little pause right here to maybe be a more aware of it as we go about it during the day. Let's go ahead and get into it. Feet together. Hands to feet. It's a second posture, everybody, and we're in our second set. So go ahead and grab your heels from behind. 
and step on all 10 fingers. Wrap your elbows tight. Keep the grip. Don't lose the grip. And then activate by pulling. Hips go up. Stretch your upper body down towards the floor from the lower spine. Building your 360 degree stretch. Cock 60 heels. Cock 60 your forehead with your happy smiling face. So bring the weight more forward. I like it. Okay. And then pull really hard. Pushing your knees back. Lock the knees. I like the length there, Todd. Very good. Now push your face into your shin bones beneath the knees and hold it right there. And you got to memorize that. Let your spine just get nice and long right there. Roll the weight forward. Pull. Pushing your knees back. Make sure stomach, thighs, chest on the knees. A lot of you pushing your face into your shin bones. Getting your eyes closer to your ankle bones. Long neck again. Roll the weight forward. Good, Tasha. Pull. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. Nice. Very good, everybody. Come on up. Inhale. Breathing arms and head together. Finish at the top. And exhale, breathing arms down by your side. Really nice. Respiratory done. Spine in all four directions. Getting us into our third posture, Ukatasana. Feet together. Step out to the right six inches. Pretty small, but still fairly large, right? Your heels in line with your hips, about the size of a dollar bill in between those feet. Heels out, toes in, feet stay flat. Inhale the arms, down and then up. Five fingers are together. Bicep, triceps are tight, nothing hanging, nothing loose. So again, shoulders not up. You are trying to touch the front mirror. Good. Everybody breathe. Exhale, stomach in, and then sit down. Hips into the chair. Feet are flat, spine straight to begin with. So move your heels out there, Allie. That's what we need to learn to do. I have the same thing. Feet are flat, spine straight to begin with. Maximum weight in the heels. Changu, lift your hips up just a little bit and then push your butt towards the back wall and there's the weight in the heels. Good. Suck your stomach in and lift your chest up. Total spine backward bending. Good, Casey. Lift your chest up even more. Suck your stomach in, everybody, and hold it in nice and tight. Good, Je uh, Jennifer. Six inches, toes, heels, knees, hands, chin up, chest up. Good, Terry. Everybody lean back more, fall back, way back. Nice. Very good. Everybody look forward. Concentrate. Now come up high in the toes. Maximum like a ballerina. Whole upper body spine continually stretching up towards the ceiling. Very good. Now stay there. Don't even blink your eyes and come down high on the toes. And I know it's possible. I try my best not to blink my eyes, everybody. You can do it as you look at your shoulder line, coming down spine straight position. Start to finish back of your head and your hips, leaning against the wall. That's it, Changu, because I can see you a lot today. Lean the upper body back a little bit. Good. Stomach in and chest is up. Getting your heels up more. Very good. Hips into the chair. Get your heels up, Curtis. Everybody hips into the chair, not lower than the chair. Inhale, breathing and push straight back up. Nice, Terry. Come down on your feet and then come up a little little bit on your toes and squeeze your knees together nice and tight. Good. Everybody stay looking forward. Stretch your spine up again. Suck your stomach in and come down. Create your own resistance. Like you're saying, no, I don't want to go down. Right? Building that resistance as you come down nice and slow. Remember, spine straight position. You should feel the back of your head and your hips leaning against the wall behind you. So upper body back, Kim, just a little bit. Half an inch between your hips and your heels, squeezing your knees together and down. Keep your thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel with the thighs. Inhale, come on up 10. Squeeze your knees together. Straight up there, Karina. You can do it all the way back up, everybody. And then when you're done, close, good staff, right foot back to place and arms down by your side. Yeah. So maybe can you hold off for another posture? Yeah. <clears throat> and then you're welcome to have some water as we warm up the body. So feet back together in the back row, side by side. Yeah, getting that good habit, everybody, that we've exited, we're done, and we start it all again. Step out to the right, six inches, toes in, heels out. Keep your feet nice and flat. Okay, all in, everybody. Inhale, stretch your arms down and up. Five fingers are together. There you are. Be present. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, breathing. Go ahead. Sit down and back. Sit down and back. It's over before you know it. So feeling <clears throat> maybe your hip bones drawing more towards the back wall. Good, Crystal, as the hips go down and back. Maximum weight in the heels, keeping your stomach in. Good, Todd. And then lift your chest up more, arching the upper body back. Yeah, I see it there, Jennifer. So your total spine is backward bending. So you got to use your core everybody to lift your chest up. So suck your stomach in. Six inches, toes, heels, knees, hands. Lean back, go back, way back. Nice. Very good. Second part, it changes. Come up high in the toes. Maximum like a ballerina. Use all parts of your feet. You're high on the toes, not on the balls of your feet. Come up nice and high, everybody. Keep it there with those heels and then come down high on those toes. That's it. You got to practice. Start to finish. Back of your head and your hips leaning against the wall. Got to use the top of those thighs and the stomach. Very good, Jennifer. Leaning. Now stay right there with those hips. Good. Keep the heels up and knees up. That's what you want to think about as you look forward, everybody. Heels up more, knees up more. Suck your stomach in. Hips in the chair. Hold it there. Hold it there. Change. Inhale, breathing. Come on back up. Good. Third part. Now you're on the balls of your feet. Make it distinct. Come up a little bit. Squeeze your knees together nice and tight. Wear those inner thighs. Keep the chest up. You've got it, Nikki. Come down. Ten. 
Nine, like I'm pulling your hair up towards the ceiling. Yeah, and the, and the rest of your body is just kind of reacting from that. Whole upper body spine continually stretching up towards the ceiling. It's the way Josh. <clears throat> Leave that half an inch between your hips and your heels, squeezing your knees together and down. Good, Hallie. Maybe come down just a little bit more. You're welcome to bounce and bounce and bounce a couple of times. Okay, everyone, I'm going to count to 10. Come up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Yes. We got to remember the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 part. And right foot back to place and arms down by your side. Good. Very nice, everybody. So that's why your breathing is so important. You, know, you can start to feel it now. Your heart starts to elevate. So we slow things a little bit here, and then we have our water break. So feet together side by side again, Nalia. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head, rec recognizing which is the right arm and which is the left. Take the right arm and swing it underneath the left. Cross your arms and twist them like ropes. Very good, and then you have it. And see if you can't twist one more time. Can I help you? Because I know you're going to get it. Yeah, you got those nice long arms. So can I help you? Okay, so it goes this way, and then flip your hands. There you go. Interlace and then hands back to prayer. A lot of you learn to turn your wrists so your thumbs are towards you and work your wrists a little bit. Pull your arms down. Remember, we're stretching the shoulders now. Get your fingertips below the nose and then sit down nice and low. Keep your hips into the chair and stay down there. Good. Now lift the right leg, lift it high, up and over the left to wrap your foot around and underneath the calf muscle. All this dialogue now is instructional, getting you in the posture the right way. Trying to see all five toes visible to you in the front mirror. Pushing your foot against your leg and then increasing the pressure as best as you can. Knees move to the right, upper body to the left as you line up the ankles, knees, elbows, and wrists. Good. Stomach is in. Keep pulling those arms down, everybody. Sit again just a little bit lower. Practice concentrating, holding your balance, and lift your chest up at the end and change. Feet together. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head, and let's do the left side. Left arm underneath the right. Cross your arms and twist them like ropes. Same thing on this side. So can you flip the hand there? See, you got it for yourself. Good job. Thumbs towards you. Pull your arms down. Fingertips go below the nose. Good. Sit down nice and low. Keep your hips into the chair. Now stay down there. Left leg nice and high up and over. Wrap the foot around and underneath the calf muscle. Trying to see all five toes visible to you in the front mirror. Yeah, so the higher you lift the leg, the more chances you have to wrap the foot around and underneath. I love what you're doing here. That's very nice. So some of you can take your left foot and push it against your right calf muscle. All of us can create pressures. We feel it in the inner thighs. Knees to the left, upper body to the right. So you're trying to line up everyone, wrists, elbows, knees, and ankles. So do that with that motion, knees to the left, upper body to the right. Good. Now sit down more. Say, Krishna, sit down more. Hold it there, Jennifer. Everybody lift your chest up, upper body back at the end. Change. Nice. Feet together. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head. Challenge yourself a little bit more. Second set, right side. Right arm underneath the left. Cross your arms and twist them like ropes. Yeah. So I try to get a good bite underneath my elbow, and then maybe I can twist even tighter and wrap my wrists tighter and then pull my arms down. Right. Can feel it my shoulders. Sit down nice and low and get into your hips. And take the right leg. Try to use control and lift it high up and over. Wrap the foot around. And if you're lucky, maybe the shin bone wraps around the calf muscle. And then trying to draw your toes closer to the floor. Twist your legs like ropes and your arms like ropes and suck your stomach in, sit down and back. So like first part of awkward, you want the hips to go towards the back, one more weight into the heels, you're sitting in a chair crossing your legs, knees right, upper body left, suck your stomach in, good, Changu, lift the chest up, everybody, upper body back one more time, change, do it again, one more, feet together, arms up over your head and left arm underneath the right, cross your arms and twist them like ropes, good, getting rid of any obstructions that are happening in the joint system of your body, beautiful everyone, I like Atasha, hands are right where they need to be. Sit down nice and low, everybody. Keep your hips down into the chair and left leg nice and high up and over, wrapping the foot around and underneath the calf muscle. Yeah, very good. You guys have great practices and it shows, right? You know what to do. You have, you know, even some of the detail. And then, you know, then more of your body can come through as you have that excellent form. Knees to the left, upper body to the right. Now try to bring your hands back to prayer without bending that right wrist. Pull your arms down, suck your stomach in, and lift your chest up upper body back. Nice, Casey. Change. Feet together. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head and exhale, breathing arms down by your side. Oh, man. So nice. Really good, everybody. So now you're, now you're welcome to have some water and I will join you. I'm thinking a lot about our Bikram practice and how unique it really is. You know, it's so medicinal, a lot of science to it, that hopefully more and more of, of that is coming out. But, you know, I think our aha moments 
or the, you know, the addiction to it is because, you know, outside the room we feel so good. And that comes from a lot of things. But one of the things in particular is, you know, if you have a really healthy body, that's all well and good, right? And if you have a clean mind, that's all well and good. But when you start to have the two together, ah, man, that's really cool, right? We start to feel good in our body, and then we have a mind, right, that feels clean and good and a little bit free of worry, a little bit more peaceful as we walk out the room. And then what comes through in that, right, with the, the, the nice clean circulation, mind and body, is you. That feels good. We have our unique blueprint. So pretty cool, everybody. So let's go ahead and elevate the heart a little bit more and work the cardiovascular system. And at the same time, we're training the mind. All good stuff in your practice, everybody. Feet together, side by side. Wipe your hands. Dante Manajanu Shirasana. Left leg is locked. Yeah, follow through on technique. It all happens from there. Round down and grab your right foot, couple of inches below the toes. Ten fingers interlocked. Grip, get the grip, and feel the grip. So I've been talking a lot about this particular grip. It's hard for me to get in the first set. So try your best, everybody. You're opening up your scapula a little bit more like you did in all the other postures. So those prepared you for this. Nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. And look in the mirror and concentrate on your left leg and make sure your left leg is absolutely locked out to begin with. No knee. And then from there, inhale, lift and stretch your right leg up parallel to the floor. No higher and no lower, making sure the left leg stays locked out. So even though you're concentrating on other things, that standing leg still solid for you. Take a deep breath, kick your heel forward and bring your foot in towards your face from the ankle. Nice. Once both legs are locked, still you can balance, bend your elbows, touch the calf muscles, and then eventually they'll go below. So everybody in the room, good back row, hold the left leg locked and then change. Come on out, straighten your arms, Bend your right leg and right foot back to place. And then the other side. Feet together. Right leg is locked. Wipe your hands. Go ahead. Round down and grab your left foot. A couple of inches below the toes. Nice, tight, ten-fingered grip. Get the grip. Same thing on this side. See what happens. So making sure that your thigh bicep more parallel. Body is over the leg rounding and you've got the grip and you're feeling that stretch in the scapula. You've got the grip to help you eventually stretch the Achilles tendon. Look in the mirror and concentrate on your right leg. Right leg solid, tight, lamp post, unbending, no knee nice. And then when you have that, inhale lift and stretch the left leg up and own that second phase. Nice, Stephanie, keeping that chest up. Beautiful, Sarah. Left leg nice and strong. Keep your right leg locked, everyone. If you've kicked out, take a deep breath. Continuously kick the heel towards the mirror. Yeah, Josh, learning more and more. It's fine to be in that transition, bringing your foot in towards your face from the ankle. Heel out, toes in. Both legs locked. Hold it there for a moment. Breathe, everybody. And then the third part. Elbows bend, touching the calf muscles, eventually going below. Good, everybody. In the last few seconds, you got it, Josh. Just lock the right leg. There it is. Change. Good. Come on out, straighten the arms, bend the left leg, left foot back to place. Now bring your hands on your hips, okay? I don't really consider this optional. I want you to do that release. Bring your fingers down, whole upper body and head goes back quick in half a second and we do it all again. Feet together, left leg is locked. Wipe your hands and then go for it. Round down and grab your right foot. Mind over the matter, bulldog determination. You've got that sense of self-control. Whole body is prepared, you're ready to go. And this is the moment, otherwise you won't have it again today. Look in the mirror and lock your left leg. From there, inhale, lift and stretch your right Right leg up, parallel to the floor, no higher and no lower. Yeah, just keep trying. Very good. Sit, Jennifer, kick your heel forward and foot in towards your face. Both legs locked out like Linda, then the elbows can come down. Eventually, elbows go below the calf muscles. Still, if you can balance, suck your stomach in more. Bring your body down, chest down. Good, Josh, hold it there. Forehead on the knee, kick the right heel forward, Steph, just a little bit more. Everybody, left leg, one more time, lock it out, change. Good, come on up, head first, straighten the arms, bend the right leg and right foot back to place. Yes, Terry, I will wait. Head up slow. Oh, oh, that was good. Very nice. Right leg locked. Wipe your hands. I know you're just getting there too. That's cool, right? Round down and grab your left foot. A couple of inches below the toes. I'm feeling that enthusiasm. That's cool. So can you bring your thumbs underneath your foot? Try that. Yeah. And then come down a little bit and start to open up the shoulders. Look in the mirror and concentrate on your right leg. Right leg solid. And if it is, yeah, Leslie, there it is. Lift and stretch the left leg up parallel to the floor. So now you got to bring the body down more. Okay. You don't want to be standing up straight. Nope. Keep your left leg locked out. Kick your heel to the mirror. That's it, Kim. Toes in towards your face, working the Achilles tendon as you bring the foot in from your ankle. Both legs locked, elbows down. Touching eventually going below. Still, if you can balance, body down, chest down. Notice how the legs stay locked and you just move your upper body and getting your forehead on your knee 
and hold the stomach in. Kick the left heel forward, right leg locked. Nice job. Come on out. Straighten the arms. Bend the left leg and left foot back to place. Yeah. And do your back bend again, everybody. Fingers down. Whole upper body and head goes back. You've got it. Beautiful. Keeping your standing legs nice and strong, everyone, as we do a backward bend. So feet together side by side, Nalia. Wipe your hands, everybody. Right leg, uh, right arm bends at the, the waist with the palm facing up. Move your arm to the right side so you're opening up your shoulder. Bend the right leg and grab the foot from the inside right at your ankle with all five fingers together. And there's that beautiful grip. Don't lose the grip. Left arm up in front of you and knees together to start. Good. Take a nice deep breath, everyone. Stretch that left side up and go. Charge your body forward. Go and touch the front mirror. Try again, Allie. Simultaneously. That's at the same time, which you guys have synchronized. You know what that is. You have to kick the right leg back and up as you stretch your body arm forward. Beautiful. Coming down from your lower spine until the abdomen and chest is parallel to the floor. More shoulder to chin right away, Tasha, and you'll have the balance. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Seeing your foot over your head, feet in one line from the side. Keep going, Jennifer. Kick everybody and stretch. Your right shoulder back behind you. Good, Casey. Invisible to you in the front mirror. Left shoulder forward, shoulder to chin. Scapula coming out of the body. Remember the scapula. You've opened it up. Good, Changu. Bringing the body down. Try again. Kick just a little bit harder. I like it, Scott. Keep breathing in. Keep kicking. Everybody 50-50. So come to the mirror, but stay with your kick. Keep the left arm up there, Kay, and stay with your kick. Bring the body down, Sarah, and come forward, everybody, shoulder to chin, and stay with the kick. The harder you kick, you balance forever. Last few seconds, everyone kick just a little bit more. Come forward there, Steph, and kick one more time. Change. Feet together, excuse me, knees together, and then left arm down by your side. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Nice. Very good practice. Let's do it again. Left arm bends at the waist, palm is facing up. Move your arm to the left and bend the left leg and grab the foot from the inside right at the ankle. Yeah. Good grips, everyone. Get the grip. Feel the grip. There it is. Don't need to visit it anymore. Right arm up in front of you. Shoulder goes to your chin. A lot of you are letting your right shoulder, left shoulder fly away. So right now it's shoulder to chin. Bring your knees together to start. So keep it there. Inhale, stretch up, and then try your best, everyone, to keep your chin next to your shoulder as you charge. Your body forward. Good, Tasha. Go and touch the front mirror. Simultaneously, right leg locked. Kick your left leg back. That's the way Josh getting stronger. Kicking your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. All of it is 50-50 shoulder to chin. Keep kicking so hard. Beautiful. Kicking. Coming down from your lower spine. Kicking. Getting abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Beautiful. Stay kicking. Foot over your head. Feet in one line from the side. Good, Tasha. Breathe, everybody, and open up the back of your right leg as you kick, and you stay kicking. Keep kicking. Left shoulder back behind you. So relax the left shoulder. Let it stretch back, invisible to you in the front mirror. Right shoulder forward, shoulder to chin. Scapula coming out of the body. Stay with the kick. Shoulders in one line. Feet in one line. Get excited. Come down even more, Jennifer. You have the last few. Everyone, you have to go after it. Bulldog determination. Mental determination. Come forward. Everybody kick. The harder you kick, you bounce forever. Don't give up. Kick one more time. Inhale, breathing, and come back up. Very good, Josh. Awesome, you guys. Last few, I know, is, is hard. Is hard, but that's where the determination comes in. Yeah, right there. So let's do it all again. Half as long. Right arm bends at the waist. Palm is facing up. Move your arm to the right. Bend the right leg and grab the foot from the inside. Right at the ankle. All five fingers are together. Good. Left arm up in front of you. Building stamina and endurance, and eventually over time, you can hold it way more than a minute, everybody. So stretch up nice and tall. Good. Use good form, and then go. Kick. Your right leg straight back. That's the form there, Mark. Looks really good. Just bringing it down just a little bit. Keep breathing in. Keep kicking. Feel your 50-50. you got to hold on a little bit lower. Good, Todd. Stay with the left leg strong. That's the way. Keep rolling forward there, Changu. Keep going. And start to stretch your fingers away from your toes and open your chest. Very good. Keep going. Yeah, maybe a little bit more weight forward, but stay with your kick. Nice. Stay with it. Stay with the kick. Stay with the kick. Bringing the body down. Beautiful. You have 10 seconds, everybody. Stay with it. Good, Terry. Right shoulder back. Left shoulder forward. Shoulder to chin. Everyone, five. Abdomen, chest coming down. Good. Now stay strong. Breathe like you could be in it all day. Joy and kick one more time. Yeah, nice job. And knees together and left arm down. Good. We get one more. Is that fun? Left arm bends at the waist. Palm is facing up. Move your arm to the left and bend the left leg and grab the foot from the inside. Right at the ankle. All five fingers are together. Very good. Okay, everybody, go for it. Okay, right arm up. Just go for it. Knees together. Stretch up tall and then go. You know, we have the hesitation sometimes because we're kind of thinking so much about technique. How about if you just play and go and go, yeah, Chengu, you got it. Tasha, kick. That's it, Allie. Kick foot over your head. Breathing, everybody. Good. Let everything be supple, even though it's strong. Feeling that sense of relaxation, even though the form is there. Kicking everybody foot over your head. Kicking left shoulder back. Beautiful, everyone. Make it breathable. Right shoulder forward, shoulder to chin. Come forward towards the mirror. Five. Abdomen, chest. Got to come down, everybody, and work the kick. I want you to kick three times. Everyone kick the leg up. Kick again. Kick one more time. Inhale, breathing, 
and come back up. Oh, I wish we had time for another set. That was really good. Very nice, everybody. Back of your mat, your towel, Tula Dindasana for our balancing stick posture as we keep this sequence going. So we have these three to work the heart. Isn't that cool? Just three of them. Feet together. Arms up over your head. This one really fast. As soon as you hear my clap, make up your mind. So keep the grip nice and tight. Everybody, arms with your ears. Chin is up. Lean the upper body back. Take a nice deep breath. Here's the clap. Big step forward with the right leg you've decided. Let's bring it down. Body down, leg up. Capital T like Tom from the side. So bring your body down and leg up. Body down, leg up. Beautiful. Arms stay with your ears. Keep the grip nice and strong. Every muscle nice and tight. That will help. So keep the right leg locked. Suck your stomach in and the left leg up. Now bring the body down a little bit. Keep the grip strong. Now come to the mirror and stretch. Stretch, inhale, breathing, and go back. Arms and head stay together. Good. You do them all over the globe, uh, Chango. You, you have the right to bow out of one. Shin is up and then big step forward with the left leg. Shift the weight. Lock the right leg. And then go. Body down, leg up. I should name this the Changu posture. Body down, leg up. Yeah, Chuni, can you bring the body down and the arms up a little bit more? Good. Right leg, everybody is locked. Suck your stomach in, everybody. Keep your arms with your ears. Keep the grip strong. Beautiful. Now come to the mirror. Come to the mirror. Stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, and go back. Arms go up and arms down by your side. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Awesome. Very good, everybody. Just lifting those arms up, maybe a millimeter, can make all the effect in your heart, everybody. Right? So maybe just lifting the chin up and the arms up just a little bit more second set here we go arms up over your head getting rid of any cardiovascular vulnerability right here so keep your arms with your ears grip tight good everybody big step forward with the right leg shift the weight lock the left leg and then come down body down leg up body down leg up body down leg up a little bit more alley and everyone challenge yourself like you do in the last few seconds of your standing bow bring your body down and your arms up arms stay with your ears and grip tight good suck your stomach in now really feel the stretch scapula coming forward as you stretch stretch again change very good you have to do the same thing on the left side and your heart really happy today arms and head together everybody everyone chin up lean the upper body back here we go big step forward with the left leg shift the weight lock the right leg and then come down and then notice that your body's in one straight line as you bring the body down and the left leg right leg comes up body down and then the arms stay with your ears Arms up, Casey, just a little bit. Arms up, Tasha, and keep the grip nice and strong. Every muscle nice and tight. Now, do you feel long? Stretch your toes to the back wall. Everybody, scapula, charging your body forward towards the mirror. Stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, and go back. You did it. Very good. Arms up and arms down. Good. Be still just for a moment. Yeah. That's all we need. And then come off your mat to the left side. Staggering today. Every day, it's a good habit. Left side taking the lead, and then we go across the room, forward and back, forward and back. Yeah. Nice. Feet together. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head. Got it. Now, yes, just keep your feet together side by side. Head below the heart here, everyone. It feels good. Step out to the right and let's set it up. So coming, stepping out 48 inches and bringing your arms down parallel to the floor. Good. Toes in slightly. Lock your legs. Take a breath, everyone. Stomach in and start now to stretch from your lower spine. Stretch, coming down, stretching from your lower spine. Very good. Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up, coming down, and then try to grab your heels from the outside. All five fingers are together. Otherwise, grab underneath of the side of the feet. Legs locked. If your legs are bending, that's okay. Bring your hands on the floor, and then just try to lock your legs, and eventually walk your hands back. So once your legs are locked, you have the grip, then you pull. Stretching your upper body down towards the floor from the lower spine. So lock your legs, contract the thighs, kneecaps lifted, bring the weight into the toes, and pull the upper body down. A lot of strength in this posture. So keep feeling the stretch in the legs, the hips, the lower, the middle, of the upper spine. Can chin forward more, roll forward more, elbows out to the side, shoulders up, nice deep breath, pull down one more time, and come up. Very good. And close. Right foot back to place, arms up and arms down by your side. So it makes a difference again when you have your chin forward, right? We get the longer neck as opposed to this where we start getting the bubble in the spine. We want the long spine. So you want to come down, right? You want your come down with your, your chin forward, your chin forward, right? Your chin is forward. You know, as soon as we collapse, you know, then the, then the spines, spine does more work when the chin is forward. Right? And eventually, you know, your forehead will go down on the floor. It goes straight down. Yeah, and, and feel it. Right? It feels good. Maybe it won't get there today, but I'm dizzy. Let's see you do it. Arms up over your head. Palms touch. And go ahead and step out to the right. 48 inches. Remember to follow through on that technique, everybody. Right? Got to do that first. Toes in. Just slightly lock your legs. Nice deep breath. Go ahead. And then come down. Yeah. Chin forward. Good. 
and then go ahead and grab your heels from the outside. All five fingers are together. Otherwise, grab underneath the side of the feet and feel your legs nice and locked out. And then you have some leverage with the grip and the legs locked to create the space up and around the hips and down through the spine, getting the spine to hang straight down in between those legs with the forehead on the floor in between the feet. It's another 360 degree stretch. We don't often say that, everybody, because we don't quite get there. Got to feel the grip, lock the legs, bring the weight forward, and continue to pull, right? Opening things up on the backside of your body. A lot of us feel it back of the knees, the hamstrings, and we get into the hips. It's the way, Sarah, like the shoulders up and the chin forward more. Stay with your breathing. Good. You have the last few seconds. Nice, Changu. Bring your body between your legs a little bit more as you pull the spine down. Pull and change. Good. Come on up. Arms parallel. Nice long spine there, Joanne. And let's go ahead and close. Right foot back to place. Arms up and arms down by your side. Good, everybody. Just breathe. Be still. Yeah. The inside of the body, just, you know, be more relaxed and loose and ready to go for our triangle posture. Feet together, left side of your mat. Inhale, breathing arms up over your head, palms touch. Go ahead and step out to the right, 48 inches. Immediately, arms come down parallel to the floor, nice and wide. Hips are forward, upper body back, open your chest, pick up your right toes and pivot on your right heel. Back foot in a little bit, both heels in one line. Inhale, breathing now, bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce a couple of times, maybe opening up the, the length a little bit, Joanne, bringing your heel underneath your knee, not beyond it. Getting that right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Good, everyone. Spine straight in the middle. So freeze your hips, open your chest. Now together, move your arms at the same time. Palms face the front mirror. Move your arms like a windmill. Touch your toes. Elbow against the knee turn your head. Chin to your left shoulder, profile of your face visible in the front mirror. Everybody inhale, breathing continuously. Now stretch the left arm up like you mean it. You are going to touch the ceiling. Good, Karina. At the same time, you're stretching your right arm down. Feel those arms stretching in opposite directions. Push your left hip down and forward at the same time. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Keep your hips low. Bring your body up off your thigh. No collapsing like you did in half moon, everyone. Got to keep the lift up off the left right thigh. Turning and twisting the upper body back. Don't give up. Lock your left leg, left foot flat. Inhale, lead with the left arm and straighten the right leg. Good. Now pick up your left toes and pivot on your left heel. Maybe turning that left foot a half an inch more heels in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce a couple of times. It's a massive hip opener, everybody. So as you sit down low enough, squeeze your right butt cheek and bring your right hip towards me and then the left knee towards the back wall. Good. Spine straight in the middle. Freeze your hips and now move your arms only. Yeah. Good, Matt. And touch your toes. Yeah. Elbow against the knee. Then turn your head. Turn it enough that you feel your left ear more parallel to the front mirror. Inhale, continuously stretch the right arm up this time, left arm down. Still stretching those arms apart in opposite directions. Breathe, everyone. Good, Terry. Right hip down and forward. That's the way Josh pushing the left knee back just a little bit more, getting into those hips. Nice there, Stephanie, keeping the body up off the thigh. Big gap between the thigh and the chest. So keep stretching your right arm up, twisting your ribs, upper body towards the back wall. Lock your right leg, right foot flat. Inhale, lead with the right arm, straighten the left leg. Nice, Jen. And bring your right foot back to place. Arms up and arms down by your side. Good, everybody. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. So one straight line from the front and one straight line from the side. One of the most beautiful photos I've ever seen is to see somebody do triangle, head down right to their toes. And they look so straight that they were thin like a razor. So you got to keep your hips forward, your knee back, your whole body in one line from the side. Let's try that. Feet together, arms up over your head, palms touch, go ahead and step out to the right. Big, beautiful posture, everybody, where it uses the whole body. You can do it. So make sure you have the, the heels in one line. Hips forward, upper body back. Pick up your right toes and pivot on your right heel. Heels in one line. Inhale, breathing. Bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce a couple of times. Good, everybody. So maybe open up, Josh, just a little bit. You want your knee directly over your ankle, spine straight in the middle. Good. Set it up. Now move your arms. Yep. And touch your toes. No weight against the floor, no weight against the knee. So you can lean that right arm down. That's it. And touch your toes. And then turn your head, chin to your left shoulder. Now try your best. One straight line from the front. Yeah, as you keep, everyone, your right hip more forward, but your left hip, yeah, towards the back, right? As you keep your hips in one line. Sitting down low enough, helping you pushing your right knee back. Keep stretching your left arm up towards the ceiling. Big gap between the thigh and the chest. 
One long line from your shoulder down your hip, down your ankle. Stretch up. Everyone left leg lock. Change left arm leads and straighten out the right leg. Let's do that one more time. Very good. Pick up your left toes and pivot on your left heel. Make sure your heels are in one line. Maybe turning that foot a half an inch more. Inhale, breathing. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce a couple of times. So if you're wide enough, you'll notice that your spine goes straight down the middle. Freeze your hips, arms back. Everybody move now. Your arms at the same time. Good, Sarah, and touch your toes, elbow against the knee. And turn your head, chin to your right shoulder. Now play. No weight against the floor. No weight against the knee. The energy is rising. You're stretching your right arm up. You are going to touch the ceiling. And that will hold you. Stay with your breathing. Everybody, this time your right hip comes down and forward. Push your left knee back. So you have to feel, everybody, that your left hip is a little bit more forward. And your right hip is going back to one straight line. And keep stretching up from there. So your trailing leg's got a big job. Make sure it's locked. The right heel is down. And get your body up off the thigh. Turn your ribs like in half moon towards the back wall. Everybody stretch up one more time. You did it. Change. Right arm lead. Straighten out the left leg. Let's bring it all in. Nice job. Feet together. Arms up and arms down. That was that. Right? Good job. All in. And then we bring it all down. Dante Amana Bibhakta Padajan Yusharasana. Feet together, left side. Inhale, breathing, arms up over your head. Palms tight, cross the thumbs. Good. Step right over your mat, 36 inches. Pick up your toes and pivot on your heels to the right side of the room. Back foot at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, now twist your, twist your left hip forward five times. Twist, 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 twist. Lock your legs. Come up with length. Exhale, tuck your chin in, and you go down front side. Arms and head together. Yeah, you've used control in a lot of other postures. It will help you right here as you come down with control, release low arms and head together, stretching your fingers away from your toes, getting your forehead on the knee. So learning to push the floor away with your fingertips and locking the right leg. If the forehead's not on the knee, bend the right knee towards the mirror and have the knee meet the forehead. So you want a rounded spine, everybody. That's what we're after. Compression is the priority in this pose. So not lunging too much there in the back row. I want you to bring your left leg up and bring your left heel down. Nice. There, there you go. Sucking your stomach in. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Maximum weight comes forward. So trial and error for a lot of you. Bring the weight more forward so the right hip goes up, both hips in one line. Good. Now try at the end. Try to push the right knee back a couple of times. Inhale, breathing, come on up. Arms and head together. Nice, Josh, all the way back up. There's the rounded spine. Beautiful. And then pivot all the way around towards the windows. Back foot at a 45-degree angle. Twist your right hip forward five times. Twist, 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 twist. Beyond normal flexibility. Stretch up tall. Exhale, and you go down front side. Arms and head together. So tuck your chin in. Look at your stomach and round. Yeah, Jennifer, all the way. Your neck, your upper, your middle, and your lower. You have that long torso, so you got to really suck your stomach in for you. And imagine I've got a rope around your waist, Jennifer, and I'm lifting you up towards the ceiling so that you get that stomach in rounded spine. Yeah. Bending the knee if you need to, everybody, so the knee meets the forehead. And then hold that connection, creating the compression. No stimulation, closing things off for a few seconds here. And the glands that regulate a lot, endocrine, immune, metabolism, digestion. So hold it here, eyes open. Weight more forward, left hip up. Hold it here, hold it here, and try to push the left knee back a couple of times. Inhale, come on up. Arms and head together. Lock your legs, full lungs as you rise. Joanne, arms and head together all the way, finish, chin up, beautiful. And then go ahead, right foot back to place, and arms down by your side. Good. Sit back row, you're doing great. Feet together. Let's do it again. Arms up over your head. Palms tight. Cross the thumbs. Good. Step right over your mat again. 36 inches. Yeah, so it's a little bit hard to manage even this size of distance, right? So you have to concentrate. Pick up your toes. Try to challenge yourself to work your ankles. Twist the left hip forward five times. Twist, twist, twist. Lock your legs. Lift up again. Exhale. Tuck your chin, arms, and head together. Rounding. Looking at your stomach will help navigate your spine as you round and round and round and round. And then your fingers land in front of your toes. Try to round in a little bit more. Forehead doesn't quite meet. Bend the knee. And there's that rounded spine. That's what we're after. Compression. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal, more weight forward, right hip up, hips in one line, and hold it here in the posture. You have the technique, second set. Make sure your left leg is locked, your elbows are locked, forehead on the knee. Good, stomach is in. And then try at the end, second set here. Cross your thumbs, some of you, and push your right knee back a couple of times. Inhale, breathing, come on up. Arms and head together. Look at your stomach. Come all the way up. Chin up last. Nice. And let's pivot all the way around. Do one more, everybody. Building a strong immune system, not so vulnerable to a lot of those viruses out there. Stretch up nice and tall. Exhale. And you go down. 
all that strange, different bacteria, right? You're living at a whole nother level. So come down and then work the chin to chest, chin to chest, chin to chest, chin to chest, looking at your stomach, maybe some of you, your collarbone, and get more of a squeeze in this last one. Fingers in front of your toes, forehead not on the knee, bend the knee, and then suck your stomach in even more. Try to crawl that forehead even higher, and then challenge bringing the weight a little bit more forward. Maybe using your hands right now, push against the floor and get the forehead even higher as you try to lock the knee. And hold the right leg locked. Everybody hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, and inhale, come on up. Arms and head together, lock your legs, stomach in, come all the way out, unwinding, lower, middle, upper, chin up, and then we finish right foot back to place. Good. Yeah, be still. Lay nice today, everybody. Come to the middle of your mat, your towel. And if we finish with tree pose and toe, st uh, and toe stand. So feet together on the line like you started. Now yeah, everybody, if you can, look forward at yourself in the front mirror and bring your right leg up. Left hand holds on from underneath, bringing your heel high on your costume. High on your costume. So let that take maybe five seconds. Okay, and then allow the knee to, to, to kind of poke up a little bit and then start to relax it down and back. Left leg is locked, hips push forward, and then you can push the right knee down and back a little bit more. Good. Stomach in, and remember where your chin is. Get that long neck, leaning upper body back, hips and shoulders in one line, then the hands. Right hand comes up, foot stays there, then the left hand comes up. Good. And then work on that really good posture that you want to have for the rest of your life. So some of you, your left shoulder up, your right shoulder down. Good, Tasha. Coming up a little bit taller here. Hold the left leg locked. Nice job. Change. Right leg comes down gently. And let's do the other side. Right leg locked and the left leg comes up. Right hand holds on from underneath. Again, bring your heel high on your costume. Maybe a little higher there, Tasha. High on your costume. Nice. I do it the same way, letting your knee come up a little bit and then relax your left knee down and back. And then push your hips forward and allow the left knee to come down and back without letting that heel lower in this one. Stomach is in. So you have to lift up out of the waist, everybody. Leaning upper body back, hip and shoulders in one line, and then the left hand. Foot stays there, then the right hand. And then look at your posture, right? Some of you, maybe your right shoulder up a little bit more. As you stretch up, sometimes those adjustments will, you know, take care of themselves. Hold the right leg lock. Change. Very good. Left leg comes down, and let's do Pada Gustasana, toe stand. So look at the floor four feet in front of you. Don't move or blink your eyes, and the right leg comes up. Heel in a comfortable spot on the thigh, and hands together at the chest, and namaskar. Suck your stomach in. You're doing great now, yeah. Looking at the floor, it's at Matt, Catherine, and then bend down from your lower spine. You, by now, you know where your lower spine is, right? It's not your waist. So don't bend your legs so quickly. Yeah, come forward and stretch your hands forward. Fall forward, 10 fingers on the floor in front of you. Nice. Then bend your left knee. And then just sit there for a moment if you need to. Walk your fingertips next to the side of your hips. Balance on your fingertips. That's it, Josh. So you want your knees in one line. So as you're sitting there, everybody, right knee in line with the left knee parallel. So bring the right knee up for you, Jennifer. Sucking your stomach in. Left hand up. Right hand up. And stretching up off your heel. Leaving more stuff. Good job change. And then come out the exact opposite way you went in. Pushing back up. Right leg down gently. Yeah. Very good. Let's do the other side. All of you practicing, right leg comes up, left hand holds on from underneath, looking at the floor again in front of you, keeping your eyes focused, you got it, Krishna, hands together at the chest, suck your stomach in, and bend forward from your lower spine. Hands on the floor in front of you, then bend your right knee towards the front mirror, and allow your hips to come down on the ball of your foot. Walk your fingertips to the side of your hips. Balance on your fingertips. So a lot of you are here. Now it's about your knees being parallel to the floor. So as your left knee goes down, stretch your spine up. Eventually knees in one line parallel to the floor. Then the spine tall, stomach in, left hand first, then the right hand, and then coming up off the heel, levitating. Hold it right there. Change nice. Very good. Hands on the floor, pushing back up opposite way you went in. Left leg down. Great standing series. Good job, everybody. Go ahead and lay on your back. Great job, Nayan. Spinning around, head towards the mirror, and we're in our savasana. Long ago, 
Uh, I read this newsletter, a gentleman by the name of Jimmy Barkin, who now has his own yoga practices, but really trained and started with Bikram. He wrote an interesting article about this practice and defined it as isolation. And I didn't quite understand what that was until years and years later. But it is that. We learn to uh, operate as, as one, having circulation unobstructed throughout the body. But the isolation is that we can move the parts of our body in and of itself as opposed to just one block. So, you, you know, that's why, you know, you can turn your head without moving your shoulders. You can move your wrists even without moving your shoulders. You know, you start to have scapula movement, right, where your shoulder blades aren't frozen. You have this freedom in your ankles, right, where your ankle joint moves and it doesn't drag your knee joint or your hip joint. Freedom of movement. And again, helping you feel good in your body. Really nice, everybody. So your savasanas are a part of that. So making sure that you take your savasanas seriously, doing them in between the postures so that you can gain that freedom of movement. So we start now with Pavanamottasana, creating intensity in the digestive system. Right leg up, interlock grip, couple of inches below the knee, along with working the hip joint. So move your leg out and then pull down really hard and see if you can't create some compression there that's pretty uncomfortable. But you're here on the floor. You've had the other postures warm you up. So you're breathing a little bit more supple and you can hold that intensity. Left leg is straight, elbows touching your body, head on the floor, tuck your chin and look down. Good. So you're closing off circulation. So hold it here a few moments. Hold it. Freeze. And then change. Right leg goes down. Good. And the left leg comes up. We do the other side the same way. Interlocked grip. You had that grip in hands to feet, right? Or uh, in uh, standing head to knee. So use it here and then pull your leg out to the left and then down. Right leg straight, elbows touching your body, head straight, look down and then pull. These tourniquet effects, right? So we build the intensity, right? And then we have immense freedom. So pull down really hard. Hold that pressure and change. Left leg down and do both legs. Grab your elbows each other. So you can lift your upper body up, no problem. Palms holding onto those elbows. And then head returns to the floor. So you want to have enough pressure where you feel the thighs on the lower abdomen. And then eventually, over time, we'll get the tailbone down on the floor. But make sure you have the wrap, building the pressure, lower abdomen, transverse part of the colon. So in the back row in the corner, it's both legs. Both legs. And hold it here. And change. Good. Savasana. Now we're still. The healing part, flushing things out. Right leg up, interlock grip, couple of inches below the knee, pulling the leg out to the right and then down. Avoid the chest, the rib cage, using upper body strength. My hands used to slip and now I can't even imagine them slipping anymore. Use your upper body. You're using your forearms, using your biceps and pulling the leg down, right? Good, Terry. And hold it there. Left leg straight, elbows in, head straight, looking down. Just a little more, Curtis. A little bit more pulling. Hold it there. Yeah, and change. Right leg down. Good. Left leg comes up. Interlock grip. Couple of inches below the knee. Pulling your leg out to the left. Nobody's rolling. Very good. Keeping your right shoulder blade down. Use the grip. Upper body strength. Right leg straight, elbows in, head straight. All that stuff. Nice mark. Everybody pull a little bit more. Hold it. Right there. Yeah, change. Left leg goes down and both legs up. Grab your elbows each other. One more time. Couple of inches below the knees. Holding on to your elbows. That's the way, Scott, bringing your knees together. Mm-hmm. And head on the floor, relaxing the toes. Yeah, you want a nice open chest. So as you move the tailbone down, move your shoulders down, tucking your chin in, getting that long neck again. Maybe even longer as you tuck the chin in more, feeling that stretch in the neck. Eventually, no gap. The neck 
the floor. Good, Chango. Beautiful change. Very nice, everybody. I like to see that extension. That's hard. Relax. Sit, Allie. Relax your legs. Our energizing sit-ups. So feet together, everyone. Flex them. Heels are down. Arms up over your head. Palms face up. Cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing, and go. Exhale out twice. Toes in. Forehead to your knees. Turn around for our spinal strengthening series. Lay on your stomach. Chin forward. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, close to your chest. Bhujangasana is first. Hand placement is key in this pose. So make sure everyone, your fingers are together. Fingertips in line with your shoulders. Baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Yeah, so glue your hands down. They stay flat on the floor. Weight evenly distributed. Don't move them anymore. Start to finish. Heels and toes together. Good, K. Lock those legs. I like it, Scott. Keep your elbows in. Everybody look up towards the ceiling. Inhale and lift your upper body up. Elbows in and come up. Elbows in. Coming up enough. Belly button on the floor. Rest of upper bodies in the air. Come up with your back strength. Everybody come up enough at the same time. Arms making an L like Linda from the side. Keep coming up. Got to bring your legs together, Nalia. Elbows in even more, Allie. Keep your hands flat on the floor there, Curtis. Keep breathing and looking up towards the ceiling. Good, everyone. Stay with it. Come up, Junie. More. Elbows down. Stretch your elbows down towards the floor. The shoulders go down. Look towards the ceiling, towards the back wall. Everyone lock your legs and lift up a little more. Come up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Change. Now come down. And then look to the right, left here in the towel. And arms down by your side. We had Ida here, one of our wonderful guest teachers that likes to visit the studio, which is great. She's been doing this a really long time. One of the things that she added in this posture, hands flat on the floor, she kind of had you move your body forward, a little bit forward, where you feel a little bit more weight in the palms of your hand, right? Helping you to keep your elbows in, bringing forward, and then coming up. Yeah, maybe try that a little bit, because a lot of you look like you're struggling with more of gravity pushing you down. Can you bring that weight a little forward and then come up with a little bit more ease, keeping your legs locked out? Let's try, okay? Chin forward. Hands on the floor, not too high and not too low. Make sure that they're not turned in and not turned out and they're squared away. Fingertips right where they need to be. Make sure you have your hand placement nice and flat. Lock your legs, elbows in, and from there lift up. Yeah, and then maybe a little bit of weight in the palms of the hands. Good, Steph, as you bring your chest more forward and then up and locking your legs. That's the way. Good, Jennifer. Nice, Sarah. Keep going, though. Good, Tasha. Elbows in. Yeah, bringing your body a little bit more forward, locking your legs, using more weight in the palms of your hands, maybe just a little bit, and then come up a little bit higher, Junie, a little bit higher, everybody, shoulders down, back supposed to hurt, hold it, hold it there, and then change, much better, good, come down, and look to the left, right here, down, that was really good, Matt Trask, very nice, Yeah, and let's do the upper back now, everybody. So arms are straight position. Roll your arms underneath your body and try to get those elbows to touch. Opening up all 10 fingers wide, grabbing the floor with your fingertips. Chin forward, relax your left leg. Good, lock your right leg, stretch it back and lift it straight up over your head. Now bring the weight a little bit more forward and put those shoulders down, everyone. Lock the knee, point the toe, lift the leg, hold it there, and then change. Right leg goes down, left leg. Stretch it back and lift it up. 45 degrees minimum. Good. Lock the knee and point the toe. Now, maybe the weight a little bit more forward into the shoulders. Yeah. As you push your hands, use your elbows and push your elbows down. Lift the leg up again. Change. Good. Now, mouth goes down the towel. So tuck your chin in a lot. There you go, Tasha. Hands closer together. Zip up those legs. Take a nice deep breath. Same thing. Both legs come up. Both legs come up. Both legs come up. That's the way. Stay with it, guys. Good. So, Tasha, that's the way, Casey. Locking those legs. Putting more weight into the shoulders. More weight into the elbows as you bring the weight forward. Lift the legs again. Change. Good. And lower the legs. And then look to the right. Left here on the towel. Arms down by your side. Yeah. Arms out. Now you just let those elbows and fingers breathe a little bit. Yeah. Arms out, Kay. Just for a moment. Arms out. 
And let's do it all again, everybody. Arms are straight. Roll your arms underneath your body and handle a little bit more pressure. Elbows underneath your stomach, invisible to me. Yeah, open up all ten fingers wide and grab the floor with your fingertips. Chin goes out. Maybe stretch your throat. Chin out. Everybody relax your left leg. Lock your right leg. Stretch it back and go. Lift the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Lower the leg. Don't twist the hips, though, there, Curtis. Everybody, left leg, stretch it back and straight up over your head. No twisting of the hips. I don't care if the hip comes up. Just can't twist the hips. So lock the knee, point the toe, lift the leg, change. Good. Mouth goes down on the towel. Elbows closer together. Mouth down, mouth down, mouth down, mouth down. Let me see that everybody can't just look down. You got to really tuck your chin in. Good. Lock your legs. Mouth down there, Todd. And then go both legs up off the floor. Both legs, both legs. Lift the legs. Yeah, that's it. Now struggle a little bit. Mouth down, my friend, in the fourth row. You got to have the mouth down. Struggle at the end. You could do it. Everybody try. Everybody putting more pressure into the elbows and the chest. Lift the legs up, 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 up. Slowly lower the legs. Very good. You did it. Very nice. Two sets. Everyone look to the left. Right ear down. Sorry, I don't know your name in the corner. Bring your arms out. Yeah, and look to the left. Good. Even in the wrists, right? What we're doing is getting more movement in the wrists. So we have that freedom to type and stuff too. That's that isolation. Good one in that one, everybody. So let's go ahead and do the middle spine, Porta Salabhasana. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms face down, five fingers are together. Yeah, so keep your arms stretching out to the side. Lock your legs. Hip muscles nice and tight. One piece, nice deep breath, everybody, and lift. Your whole upper body and legs up off the floor and soar like a 747. Good, Josh. Bring your arms forward towards the front mirror a little bit. Yeah, lift your chest up. Lock your legs there, Kim. Good, Jennifer. Everybody, hip bones on the floor and the body in the air and the legs in the air. Now don't give up. Nice, Kathy. Everybody, as you exhale, come up, 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 and. And now come down. Good. Look to the right. Lift here in the towel. Arms down by your side. Toes touch. Heels fall open. Relax. Really good. Middle section again. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms face down. Five fingers are together. It's the way Steph. So those arms stretching out right, left side. Keep your chin forward. Lock your legs. Everybody, hip bones nice and tight. Legs one piece like a tail. Nice deep breath and lift. Your whole upper body and legs up off the floor. Feel like you're soaring like a 747. So you're rising and moving forward. Rising and moving forward. Good. So keep your arms up and arms back. Yeah, just slightly back. Not V back. So maybe a little bit more forward, Kathy. Hip bones down and the legs come up. Good. Keep breathing and keep rising. Now take flight. Everybody exhale. Come up, 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 up. Yeah. Now come down. Look to the left. Right ear on the towel. And relax. It's the middle section. Influencing that area. Let's bring it all together with Danya Rasana. Chin forward, bend your knees and hold your feet from the outside. All five fingers are together. Nice tight grip. So thumbs next to your index finger. So it's a power grip here. Maybe loosening a little bit. So wrists are straight, toes are pointed, knees together to start. It's all about the kick. So good form, everyone. Now fuel it. Inhale and start to kick your legs back. Kick your legs up. Kick your legs back. Kick your legs up. Kick your legs back. Kick your legs up. Kicking up and looking up. Kicking up, looking up. Rolling forward, toes in the center from the side. Good, everyone. Keep breathing and keep the knees in. The knees in, the knees in. Good, Scott. Look up more. Look up more. Everybody look up and try to find your toes. Stay with it. Last few seconds. Good, Sarah. Keep those toes relaxed. A lot of you kicking up. Just kick one more time. Change. Come down and look to the right. Left here on the towel and arms down by your side. Work in the, you know, I know we talk about the spine, but there's that isolation again, everybody. It's posture helping to work, you know, some freedom in the shoulders as you kick. I know it's tight right there, so let's use it for that 20 seconds. Chin forward, bend your knees, and hold your feet from the outside. All five fingers are together. Nice tight grip. You got it, Kathy. Wrists are straight, toes are pointed. Good. Knees together to start. 20 starts now. Kick. Kick. Good, Joanne. Kick up. Kick. Make sure you're breathing in and out through the nose. 
kicking up and looking up. Good, everybody. You have 10 seconds. Can you roll forward more? Good, Jennifer. Rolling forward, toes in the center. Head up more, kick. Stay with your breathing. Now kick up and try to stretch your shoulders, Todd. Head up more, everyone, two. Keep going, Amber. Kick one more time. Change. That was 20. Very good. Look to the left, right here on the towel. Relax. Working hard. That was work. I know everybody. And come on up. Before you grab your water, let's enter into this posture. Two parts. Please sit down, kneel down position. Nalia, remembering this one. And then go ahead, open up your heels, place your hips in between your heels. If your knees or your feet hurt, you can open up your knees. And once you've settled, you can have some water. Make sure that there's no gap between your heels and your hips. So come off your heels, Nalia, just a little bit more. Come off your heels. But keep your heels in your hips. One more time. You can bring your heels out one more time and open the knees. Better. Very good. And then once you're ready to move on, this feels okay. Bring your hands on your feet. Fingertips face the front mirror. And roll down right elbow, left elbow. So a little bit goes a long way, everybody, in every single one of these postures. So if this posture hurts, you can do as I'm doing. My friend in the back row, you can kind of stand on your knees. See how my weight is more forward? Just to try a little bit. If you're all the way down, arms up over your head, grab your elbows, pull your elbows to the floor, and lift your abdomen and chest up. You see how I'm doing? I want you to try like I am. Yeah, and get something good. And now watch, I slowly go back a little bit and get some nice movement in the knees, and I'm still opening up my feet. Yeah, just go right where you feel a stretch. Nice job. And take a, take a breath right there. That's good. And then come on up. Yeah. Sorry, Allie. I still want you to do it this way next time, though, okay? Can you do it with the weight forward in your hands? Yeah. Because that one-legged posture will torque the knee. I don't want you to do it that way, okay? You've got to do both legs or just unravel the posture where you can start. goes for all the poses. Lay on your back, relax on your back. Second set. Feet together, flex them, heels are down, arms up over your head. Inhale, breathing in, go. Exhale out twice, toes in, forward to your knees. Beautiful. Turn around, everybody, and let's do it again. So you do it, Allie, in the back row. I want you to do another one, okay? <laughs> and sit down, kneel down position. Open up your heels, place your hips in between your heels. And remember, you can navigate, you know, that stretching sensation by the, your knees, opening up your knees wider, wider, tolerating it a little bit more, and then go all the way down. Remember, you're dropping your head again, relaxing it. So the top of the head touches first, and then the back of your head. So your shoulders are on the floor, and you've already got that arch in your spine, arms up over your head, nice breath, abdomen, chest up. Yeah, then stay right there, Ali. And then tucking your chin in. Slowly over time, bringing your knees back together and down. Never letting your knees come up off the floor. I like it more. Good, everyone. Just take a breath. Beautiful today. Very good. Nice. Krishna, good. Scott, come on up. Mm -hmm. Stand on your knees. Everybody coming out the opposite way you went in. Turn around and rest. Yep, and now you can lay on your back. Great. Good, good, good. Okay, energizing. Sit up, everyone. Feet together. Flex them. Heels stay down. Arms up next. Let me hear you. Inhale, breathing in. Go. Exhale out twice. Toes in. Forward to your knees. Artikirmasana. Beautiful. Turn around and sit down. Kneel down position. Hopefully more comfortable now after that last posture. So you want your feet flat underneath you. So no space underneath your feet. Hips are on your heels throughout. Inhale. Arms up. Palms tight. Cross your thumbs. Now stretch up. Keep that chin level. Arms and head together. Come down. Like balancing stick. Only your clapping. Crossing your thumbs. Coming down forward on the floor. Baby fingers on the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air. Yeah. And then work it, everybody. So you're not just dumping. You have to lock your elbows. Keep the grip tight and put pressure in your palms to wake up those shoulders. Shoulders supposed to hurt. Scapula eventually moving forward out of the body. Isolation. Chin forward. Keep breathing. Keep stretching. Getting the, the head below the heart, below the hips. Allowing things to happen in the brain. As you traction your spine, stretch forward one more time. Inhale. Come up. Arms and head together. Hips on your heels. Come all the way back up and arms down by your side. Nice. Turn around. 
and relax on your back. Second set, feet together, flex them, heels stay down, arms up next, inhale, breathing in, go nice and strong each time, getting rid of the waste in your lungs and then building that nice oxygen as you take that breathable next inhale. Turn around and let's use it, sit down, kneel down position, inhale, arms up over your head, palms tight, cross the thumbs, good stretch up and let's go down. More time in the posture, arms and head together, forward on the floor, baby fingers on the floor, the rest of the arms are in the air, nice. So the energy is coming more forward rather than it being heavy on your hips. So moving your chin away from the chest, right? Keeping the neck nice and long as well. Last 10, stay with it. Looks really good, everybody. I like the head nice and low. Putting pressure, forehead on the floor. Stimulating those feel-good chemicals in the brain. Last two. And come up, inhale, arms and head together, hips on your heels, come out nice and strong, arms down, yeah, good, turn around, I'm with you on that one, Josh, feels good, lay on your back. Camel and rabbit. So let's stay together. Try your best not to have any water in between these four, okay? Let's stay with our breathing and the dialogue. Start with the sit-up. Feet together, heels are down, arms up over your head, and go. Come up. Exhale out twice, toes in, forehead to your knees. So you're all prepared. The work is done. Let's go ahead and do it good form. So stand on your knees at the top of your mat, your towel. Knees and feet are six inches apart. Bring your hands on your hips, fingers down, thumbs on the outside. Please use your hands. Everyone breathing in and out through the nose. Take your hands and push your hips forward towards the the front mirror. The next part, drop your head back all the way as far as it goes. Yeah, and then go back halfway like you're coming up over the palms of your hands and hold right there. Then slowly, first only, right hand, right heel, and then stretch down, left hand, left heel. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. We're in the setup. Make sure you have a nice tight grip, otherwise hands on the hips. Good, everyone. Now make it breathable. Take a nice inhale, and as you exhale, push. Feel the stomach, hips, thighs pushing forward towards the mirror. Good, everybody. Keep the lift up out of the waist. Keep the chest up. Let the head drop back and stay with pushing your hips forward towards the front mirror. Total spine backward bending with gravity. Last two, hang on to it. Push forward, hold tight, push again, change. Right hand, right hip, left hand, left hip, body up, spine in the middle, and then we sit down. Turn around right away and relax on your back. Nothing to change, really good. Lay on your back. Now you try to relax on your back right away. Use it as calming stressors in your body, and stress doesn't need to be a negative thing. Keeping the, the body more calm as we go excessive for a few seconds. Let's do it all again. Feet together, flex the arms up over your head, and go. Come on up. Exhale out twice, toes in, forward to your knees. Turn around, and let's do it again. Now you're doing it again. Okay, everybody, stand on your knees. This is the way, Krishna. Heel in your back this way, too. Opening up your knees, 8 to 10. Feet stay at 6. Hands are on your hips again, fingers down, thumbs on the outside. Notice how we do this in two sets. Keep your hands on your hips, everybody. Push your hips forward towards the front mirror. Drop your head back as far as it goes and go back halfway. Keep your hands pushing your hips forward. Drop your head back, grab your heels slowly. Right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel. Good, Mark. If you have the grip, hold the grip. Don't lose the grip. Even tighter there, Terry. Ten. Stay with it, everybody. Keep breathing, dropping your head. Allow yourself to find the relaxation in it. So let these sensations pass through. Chest up and push. Keep with your breathing, everybody. Feel your stomach, hips, thighs pushing forward, chest up. Push again. And then change right hand, right hip, left hand to the, your left hip. Come up supporting your spine. Sit down, turn around, and relax. Great job. Lay on your back, everybody. Sit now, yeah, just turn around the other way, okay? And just lay on your back. You're doing really good. Even if you laid here the rest of class, that's just fine. Awesome job your first time back. Sit up, everyone. Feet together. Heels stay down. Arms up. Inhale, breathing, and go. Pretty strong. 
Coming out of two sets of camel, leading into rabbit. Turn around, everybody, and sit down, kneel down position. Getting the head lower than the heart is kind of a good spot for this posture, getting into the extension of the spine. So this time we take the towel, place it over your heels, grabbing your heels over your towel. Nice tight grip, don't lose that grip. Exhale, breathing, you can lean back, tuck your chin in and curl and round in nice and tight. Forehead on the knees, automatically top of the head on the floor. Get that nice tight grip, exhale, breathing, and lift your hips up, lift your hips up, lift your hips up as high as possible. Keep rolling forward like a wheel, don't stop. Keep rolling forward into the arms, elbows are straight. Now take a breath. Take a breath. Don't move. If you feel or see that there's a gap between your knees and your feet, walk your right knee up, your left knee up without lowering those hips. Now suck your stomach in. Now the posture. Pull in the heels and lift the hips. Pull in the heels and lift the hips. That's the action. Make that dominant now. A little bit of weight in the top of the head. Not much. Keep your eyes open. Stomach is in. Everyone pulling on the heels. Lift the hips. Even more. Lift the hips up and change. Hips go down. Restack your spine nice and long. Chin comes up. Turn around and relax on your back. Savasana. So we say rolling forward like a wheel. So imagine that you're rolling forward over the wheel. Your, your Dharma wheel there. Changu, like mine, right? You're draping your upper body over the wheel. So you have to pay attention to what's happening to your neck, your upper, your middle, your lower, so that you get maximum extension of your spine. It's a huge posture. You can stretch your spine six, maybe even, you know, up to 12 inches. But getting in that really good form. So everybody, rolling forward like a wheel, or lifting the hips up as high as possible, rolling forward like a wheel. You gotta keep going, right? Like you're rolling on top of the wheel, and then you can have fun pulling the heels and lift the hips and get into those little millimeters. Here we go, feet together, flex the arms up over your head, and go. Come on up, see, do it, Chango, and go. Turn around. Sit down, kneel down position. Yeah, that's what you wanna think about too, Todd, so you have that equal, you know, space in between those intervertebral discs. Go ahead and take the towel over your heels, grab the heels nice and tight, exhale, breathing, tuck your chin in, curl, and round in. Good set up, Sarah. Keep going, keep going, keep going forward on the knees, top of the head on the floor, beautiful. And then exhale, breathing and lift your hips. Going nice and slow with your back there, Jen. Looks really good though, stay with your stomach in. Yeah, rolling forward like a wheel until everybody, rolling forward, arms are straight, a little bit more, Scott, rolling forward. Keep your feet down, Matt. Your feet have to stay down and keep breathing. Good, everybody, keep rolling forward like a wheel. Stomach is in, like you're draping over that right round wheel, everybody, getting into the upper, the middle, maybe the lower as you suck your stomach in, pulling the heels, can you lift the hips up towards the ceiling and roll forward a little bit more, pull again, lift your hips up and roll forward one more time, there's a stretch, good job, come on out, nice and slow, that was it, Josh, look at that long spine, beautiful, turn around and relax on your back, your whole tattoo just went boom, like wingspan, turn around <laughs> and relax, do you know who Benson is? Uh, Benson Henderson is uh, Josh. He's the he has uh, tattooed wings down his, and he came and did practice, and it was yeah, and his whole wings like came out. <laughs> it's really cool. I'm a chicken. I, I like all your tattoos, but I'm too scared to get one. Feet together, flex them, arms up over your head, and go. Come on up. Exhale out twice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know. Shanyu Sharasana, everybody, right leg out, left leg in. You're on my wings. You, you, that's, that's it. Left leg in, sole the foot on the inner thigh, arms up, turn round, and grab your foot a couple of inches below the toes. Doing great now. Yeah, everybody, let's finish. We have these nice stretches. Still extreme, but a little bit easier to do as we're kind of sitting. Bye, Krishna. Have a great day. Ten fingers interlock like you did head to knee. Heel out, toes in like rabbit. Tuck your chin in forward on the knee. So this is called head to knee. So even if the knee is bent, hold your head on your knee and change. Very good. Arms up and do the other side. Left leg out and right leg in. Sole the foot on the inner thigh. Turn round and grab your foot a couple of inches below the toes. Ten-fingered interlocked position. So you want that tight grip again. So bend the knee if you need to. Heel goes out, toes in. And like rabbit, tuck your chin in forward on the knee. So hold the head on the knee. Hold their eyes open. Breathing normal and change again. Good. Legs out in front of you. Lie on your back. Shoulders meet the floor. Do your sit-up, everybody. And come on up. 
take your index and middle finger, place it in between your big toe, second toe, and walk your hips to the back of your mat 10 to 15 times. Yeah, that's it, Mark. Trying to straighten out those legs, everybody. So we go right, left, right, left. Good. So when we go back, sometimes we start to slouch a little bit. Chin up, chest up. Take a nice deep breath and pull forward from there. Yeah, pulling your sternum, your chest forward. So lock your legs, kick your heels to the mirror, even baby toes towards your face there. Kathy, use your inner thighs like your feet are flat against the mirror and pull forward. Elbows out to the side there, Steph, and bring the body down. Chin closer to your shins. Pull forward, everybody. Pull, pull, and change. Nice. Very good. Kim Terry, that was awesome. Just bring it down a little bit more in the second set. Turn around. Great, great job. I know. That's why I'm glad you're here. It's nice to meet you even though I don't know your name. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep coming. And your knees will change. Feet together, flex them, arms up over your head, inhale, breathing, and come up. Exhale out twice, toes in, forward to your knees. Awesome, everybody turn around and let's do it again. Right leg out and left leg in. Sole the foot on the inner thigh. Sit, Leslie, arms up, turn around, grab. Let's go right to it. Head to knee, so go where to where you were. Ten fingers interlocked. Like rabbit, tuck your chin into your chest. Good. And then create, everybody, a little bit more length with strength. So tighten your right thigh and kick your heel to the mirror. Bring your foot in more towards your face. Yeah, Changu, left elbow, left shoulder in. Yeah, stomach in and get your forehead even higher on the knee. And at the end, push your right knee down, heel up, off the floor. Change. And do the other side. So keep your hips locked in. Left leg out and right leg in. Hips down, turn round, grab your foot. A couple of inches below the knee. Hips are down, even though you may be bending the left knee. Heel out, toes in, round in, forward on the knee. And then keep your hips there. Even relax your right knee and use the left thigh. Kick the heel. Bring the foot in more. Hold a little higher, Jennifer Shelton. Hold a little higher. Maybe a little lower. And then hold it right. Nope, oh, one more. There it is. And then stay with right elbow, right shoulder in. Forward even higher. Now use that pressure. Everybody push your left knee down. Heel up off the floor. Change again. Legs out in front of you. Lie on your back, shoulders meet the floor, and then do your sit up, and then come on up. Yep. Index and middle finger in between your big toe, second toe. Bless you. And walk your hips to the back of your mat 10 to 15 times. You got it, Allie. Just keeping your knees in. Just keeping your knees in. So yeah, that's it, Allie. Beautiful. That's it. And use your inner thighs to bring your baby toes towards you. And that's a lot of performance there for your legs right now. Good. And stay with it. Matt Trask. That's it. And pull. That's it. Go for it, Catherine. So Kim, Terry, body down more. Body down more and elbows out to the side. Good. Feel the stretching sensation. Maybe slight pain underneath the back of your knees. I feel it there as you kick your heels forward. Good. Five. Bring your chin closer to your toes, everybody, as you look forward more and look in between your toes, your soles of your feet as you pull one more time. That was really good. Very nice. Sit, Gloria. Turn around, everybody, and relax on your back. April 2nd. Really nice, everybody. Spring in the air. Way to start your week. Feet together. Flex them. Heels are down. Arms up over your head. And let's Come up and finish Ardhamatsandrasana. So we do one set right left side. So turn your body to the right face the windows. Bend your left knee in. Knee on the floor and right foot comes up and over. Right foot flat on the floor. So make sure that your heel touches the knee corner so the right foot is flat. Hips are down so the spine is straight and tall. Left arm up nice and high and push your knee back with the help of your elbow. Try to hold on to your knee with your hand. Hand, knee, heel, share the same spot. Otherwise, lean over and grab your towel. Right hand at the base of your spine so you sit up. You're not sagging that right side over. Sit up tall. Open your chest, your rib cage. Now turn and look over your right shoulder, twisting your body to the right side. Pick up your right hand, palm facing up, grab the inner thigh. Where's your stomach? Suck it in. Push your right hip down. Sit up tall, up out of the waist. Turn, look over your right shoulder. Twist three. Twist twist, twist, change. Other side. Unwind slowly. Bend your right knee in this time. Knee on the floor and left foot comes up and over. Left foot flat. Try to keep your hips down. So sometimes we have to move that right foot out of the way. Point the right toes in. Left hip down. Spine tall. Right arm up high and push your knee back with the help of your elbow. Try to hold on to your knee with your hand. As you look down, hand, knee, heel, share the same spot. Yeah, that's it. Now left hand at the base of your spine. Can you sit up tall? Very good, Nikki. Open up the shoulders. Now look over your left left shoulder. Remember your eyes are telling your body what to do. And then your body will help navigate the spine even a little bit towards the left side. Pick up your left hand, palm facing up. Sit up nice and tall, stomach in. Now turn three. Twist, twist, and twist. Awesome, Changu. Turn around and relax on your back.
freedom. Yeah, I have it now in your body and in your mind. You get to have that. Feet together, flex them, arms up over your head. Let's finish. Come on up, everybody. Exhaling out twice. Yep, turn around and a round of applause for Naya coming back to in a practice. Did really good. So every class after this, maybe slightly a little bit easier as the body knows what to do. It's always a challenge, though. You did great. Have your a lot of water today, okay? But use the intro package as much as you can. Sitting down, kneel down position. You can sit Indian method if you feel that your knees are, are tight. That's fine. Spine tall, moistening your lips, exhaling everybody as we begin. So that's the pace. Try to find it with the clap and with each other. Keep going. Good, second set. I'll clap the whole time, keeping the pace, which is a little quicker. Look forward, moisten your lips, and begin. Last 30, concentrate. Woo, nice job. Good job, everybody. Turn around and relax on your back. Thank you so much for coming. Way to go. And appreciate that decision that you make to take care of yourself. It is a huge investment. Laying on your back now, closing your eyes, having this space here before you lead your life outside the room. So Ida was just here. We have Zeb Hamison coming next. We're so privileged at this community that we're, we're known everywhere. And people like to come and visit and teach you. So take advantage of that. And maybe the rule of thumb is that you pick, you know, two a year, two, two posture clinics, workshop type things with guest teachers, you know, perfecting your practice, not just body, but mind, keeping you open-minded, beginner's mind, learning new things, right? We want that. Namaste. Namaste.